Hello YouTubers, that's me with my hole and a little bit more. Okay, so let's see what did I get at the Sundance uh, Nursery in Fort Myers. Well, some of the things I kind of told you I will and I did. I did get the wood, the mounts. Uh, Mopani root. You can kill me. I'll never remember. So this is one of the pieces. And it has a different texture here and there and everywhere. So I changed my sitting position because of the light. Look at this guy. I don't know why it reminds me of a seahorse. And I do have a tenant for this piece. This is one. And then I got this one. This, I don't know which one I like better. And the tenant for that would be, and I'm very excited because I do love the state that I live in, Florida. And I did get the Encyclia Tempensis Alba variety. So... They grow here and there in the uh, parks. You can see them sometimes. Uh, and I mean like uh, forest preserve parks. But sometimes, you know, if you are careful and you know what you're looking for, uh, you will see them. They're in Cichlius, So I had a pretty good luck with growing in Cichlius. I'm thinking it's either going to go right here or it will go on this one in this corner i will play with it a little bit it's very nice and thick and petite it's the word for it is cute i think yeah pardon my nail polish marta did my nail polish the other day and it didn't stand there for too long I, of course, and I feel like I'm getting something new here for me. I used to collect cows. And then my super amazing ex-husband, number two, took them all away from me. So, kind of broke my heart. And I had nothing to collect since. But I'm getting the white that I really would like to start collection of a tiny pot. So, they were born for each other. But I know Encyclia would be uh appreciating more of a mount especially this is the the one that grows in the nature the uh, native they do like growing on the trees so then uh you remember the story with dendrobiums there was quite a few to choose from and i could not imagine me buying another dendrobium but here we are no, I did not get that bright orange brown. I know, I agree. But guys, if you could only smell this uh, Jacqueline something. Dendrobium Jacqueline Thomas. You would never even ask me a question. Jacqueline Thomas smells like pure jasmine and it's beautiful white i love white now i did not get one with the lots and lots of flowers the reason why is because look how many growth this one has it's like at least five and that's what I suggest. If you buy an orchid, don't... I mean, you look at the flower, wonderful. But also, look at the plant itself. So, you know, for the future, the flower can come and go. But the growth on the bottom, the roots, is way more important. So, let me introduce you. And my fan is moving her. Miss Jacqueline Thomas. So it was a wonderful uh, visiting visit to the Sundance, but at the end of it, I spoke with the owner and, uh, you know, 
apparently she knew who I am, which was very nice. Uh, very nice impression of the whole uh, nursery it was the first visit for me. Extremely clean, all the plants are well taken care of, you can feel the love in the air. The fact that every plant had a tag was just amazing. <laughs> yeah, and uh, to cover it all up, at the end she came to me and she gave me this. She gave me this beautiful Phalaenopsis that we kind of spoke with her about uh, because there was a field of white Phalaenopsis and just this one was sticking out and it of course got my attention because it's pretty unique. There's no ID. It's a Phalaenopsis hybrid and it's just gorgeousness. So if you guys are interested to buy something from them they do ship they do have a website if there was something that you saw and it's not on the website i suggest you give them a call because you know it's uh the thing is with the small uh nurseries uh family owned and small business or uh, they don't have a big staff like home depot has so and nowadays with all these pre precautions and uh, rules and masks and you know cleaning it does take so much of their time so you can uh, always call them and ask them for a specific plant and I'm sure they will try their best to help you with uh, you know purchasing that plant uh, until I honestly don't know what my plans are for the next visit where we're going to go. But we're definitely going to go somewhere. And at least we can go and visit my garden. I have a couple of really cool bloomers there for you. So until then, I hope you guys will have a great day. Um, I want to wish you a good, healthy and successful day. Please subscribe. And I'll talk to you really, really soon. Bye-bye.